The FBI reports that from the beginning of 2022 to July, there were more than 2,000 ransomware incidents, while CISA announced that 14 US critical sectors have been subjected to intense ransomware attacks. According to Statista, when it comes to ransomware incidents, phishing is the most popular distribution vector, followed by spare phishing and human error. And when we talk money, ransomware developers can gain up to $1 billion per year, while the average cost of a data breach due to a ransomware attack is $4.3 million. Hi, it's Antonia from Heimdall and those were some of the most relevant ransomware statistics and studies of 2022. As we enter October, also known as Cybersecurity Awareness Month, I thought we could dedicate the next four weeks to raising awareness about ransomware, which has emerged as one of the biggest security threats, making headlines around the world by affecting thousands of companies regardless of industry, size or location. As we already know, ransomware is a type of of malware that blocks users from accessing operating systems or files until a ransom is paid. It does so by locking the system screen or encrypting the user's files. I covered the ransomware basics in a previous video, so make sure you go back and check it out. Today's video is going to focus on the most common ransomware attack vectors, which are basically the way hackers establish their presence on a device or network. Without further ado, here are the most common infection methods used by cyber criminals in this type of attack. Phishing. Phishing attacks are one of the most common delivery methods for ransomware. Intruders send emails that appear to come from a trustworthy contact and attach a malicious file, such as a Word or Excel document, for example. When the attachment is opened, the ransomware is downloaded, infecting, encrypting, and compromising the system, with the user's files being held for ransom. Another type of phishing and a significant ransomware attack vector is when malicious links are included in the email body. Web pages. Malicious ransomware code can also be found in web scripts concealed in allegedly genuine or compromised websites. The fact that victims think they are visiting a legitimate website makes this the ideal attack vector for threat actors. The code is automatically downloaded when someone visits that site and once it is ran, it can infect the user's computer and move laterally throughout the company encrypting files and data. Remote desktop protocol and credentials abuse. RDP is another popular attack vector because it is inexpensive, easy, and extremely accessible. RDP ports are usually poorly protected and vulnerable to cyber attacks. Furthermore, proper password protocol is a key component of RDP security, but is often disregarded by users. Poorly secured RDPs are an easy target even for less experienced cyber criminals looking to collect credentials. Pop-ups and ads. Pop-ups and ads from a particular company that appear to be legitimate could actually be phishing attempts that direct targets to malicious websites or prompt them to download malware. Being cautious is advised because they are a common ransomware attack vector. Unpatch software. Software vulnerabilities score pretty high among the most common ransomware distribution uh, methods. In some instances, when software is not properly updated or patched, cyber criminals can be able to get access to networks without having to obtain credentials. After entering the system, they start attacking crucial applications and accessing or stealing private information. USB devices. USB devices constitute yet another way for ransomware attacks. In these types of intrusions, the USB device, once plugged in, gives the cyber criminals the ability to create keystrokes on a machine, install malware before the operating system boots up, a spoof a network card and redirect traffic, or encrypt networks with ransomware. Social engineering is one of the most successful ransomware attack vectors. All scams, which rely on people's instinctive desire to be helpful, kind, or to submit to authority, fall under the encompassing umbrella of social engineering. It can involve any of the above-mentioned methods, such as phishing, smishing, CEO fraud, or a combination of them. 
By using social engineering, ransomware actors can obtain administrative access to a computer system, allowing them to move quickly throughout the company's digital environment and encrypt critical files and data. If you've been the victim of a ransomware attack or you want to avoid becoming one, make sure you visit Heindel's blog and read these two articles. Please don't forget to like this video, share it to spread the word, and subscribe to stay close as Cybersecurity Awareness Month will bring new and gripping ransomware-related topics.